Really? Nigga, the R&B singers, that they the ones be with the bullshit, really, nah, nigga. for real. Because, nigga, I remember all, all them, them niggas. niggas. All them niggas. Then from Jody C all, all the way up. Them Bobby niggas. Brown, nigga. All Chris them. Brown, yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas going to punch something down, nigga. Fuck what niggas talking about. The well, R&B singers, right. singers be ready to throw hands, nigga. So, yeah. Trey Song's motherfucking ass yeah. choked the cop. Well, no, he didn't choke the cop. Trey Song. Alleged, oh, no, punched no, Which he punched. Was? They said he actually threw a punch. Okay, what happened was they at the game, Kansas City and Buffalo, Trey Songs and his people in the crowd. They saying that security came over there three times. There is a foot, a video of that. They walked over there three times, told Trey Songs, put your mask on. Right. Put your mask on. They came back another time, told him, put your mask on. I don't know if they got it live with him or whatever. They saying from this video that they have, it's showing him throwing punches the third time he come back. But the mm -hmm. original report was that they was tripping with Trey Songs. That I they mean, was that, that they was like that they came and got aggressive with him for no reason. And that was the way that I originally reported it because that's right. the way it came out. But they saying this nigga Trey Songs was like, I don't wanna put on no fucking mask, you know so, what I'm saying? So 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 somebody reported him. To the security or security. The security there. The that, that, no, I'm just saying, security just seen him and was like, hey, hey, nigga, you put your mask on. Yeah, facts. That's what they there for. They got to keep their social distance and shit. Because the thing is, and, and I ain't trying to be on the side. I'm never on the side of fucking police, bro. Trust me. I'm always looking for them to be fucking up and say they in the wrong. But they have an obligation because they can get in trouble for public safety. All right, somebody said no one else had a mask on around had a mask on around him. That's what they said? I didn't yeah. see that in that I ain't, video. I ain't, niggas ain't see that, bro. I didn't see that in that video. They say that the, the white people that was, they wasn't wearing masks, that was right next to him. Okay, if that's the case, that's probably That's probably why they got that's into it. That's probably why they got into it then. Like, tell them too. No, just tell, tell me. Them, yeah, exactly. So they fucked with Trey Songz. The people, the people originally said that Trey Songz was not in the wrong. They said that the cops was like, say, man, you got a motherfucking, what you call it? Hey, you got to put that mask on or whatever. And they said that they got aggressive with Trey Songz for no reason. So I was like, damn, that's fucked up. But you see, nigga, the nigga, Trey, like, man, get him, nigga, get him. He right. trying to tackle Trey Songz, old ass white man, Trey Songz. And I seen when he was like, he had Trey Songz on his back, nigga. Trey Songz threw it quick, too. That was in the first footage. But old boy was already on top of him when that happened. But the shit was like, God damn, Trey Songz with all that bullshit. They were like, hey, nah, he on the you, bullshit. You gotta understand though. Mm. If, if you come in a man face, exactly any man face, and you on some bullshit, yeah. you supposed to be having, you know what I'm saying? You supposed to handle that shit on some Facts. shit. That's how you gonna feel about yeah. that shit. That's just how you gonna feel about it as a man. Like, bro, we finna fight about this shit, bro. We finna punch it down, whatever. And then sometimes cops can get very aggressive. And make you feel like, hold on, you think you better than me. No, and that's the laws. Laws do some shit like that. Yeah. But laws kind of, kind of, you know how they how they rock. You know, especially when they got a bunch of eyes. It's like yeah. the more people watching them, the more ignorant some of them get. Facts. They gonna say all of them. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm and, and, and and that's the point that I'm making. Where it's like, bro, the police will come up to you, nigga, and grab you. Talk to you like you ain't shit, and then as a man, you be like, hold on, my nigga, I want you to know that I'm not scared of you now. Like, nigga, you testing my manhood, so fuck y'all and fuck you. You know nah, what I'm for saying? For real, for real, for real. So it be, it be like that, dog. It be like yeah, that. It, 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 it's, it's, it's one of them tricky things because at the end of the day, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Look who get the charges. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? You're in a lose lose situation. So so they booked him on assaulting a police officer, but it's on a low level felony side. Then he got a trespassing charge and an evading arrest charge. But you can hear them motherfuckers saying the fans, the white people, like, get off a of Trey. Leave <laughs> Trey alone. Don't touch Trey. Like, right, they was right. in that bitch like Trey was a real Kansas City Chiefs fan. Is he? Is this nigga a Kansas? What the fuck he was doing at the Kansas? Maybe he had business out there or something. Or I don't know, but shit. Yeah. That's why. That, or maybe he had like, a show. Like, I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm just glad that you said that so people won't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They can understand and realize this is, was not no, yeah. really like no racist shit. This was just on some. Yeah. Some cop being could have been on some racist shit. Who knows? No, nah, nah, I'm just saying like like you know I nine times out of ten motherfucker gonna try to make it like it was some racist shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I don't really think it. It's just the laws we talking about. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. It, this is this is a, 
a case of black and blue, yeah. not black and white. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a whole different type of time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Straight nah, up. Nah, that's just how this shit be going at times, bro. And, and it's be, be fucked up. But Trey Songz, we'll see what happens with that shit. I'm pretty sure he gonna be straight. They ain't yeah, he gonna, gonna find be good. He, he gonna be good. good. Everything straight. Trey <laughs> Songz, just know. Niggas know now, nigga. Trey Songz, hey. Hey, don't fuck hey, around with Trey. With it, I'm out there, nigga. Yeah. Trey White, man, with no bull. He went that goddamn bullshit, yeah, nigga. Definitely. You can see, nigga, like, man, get off, get him out. Hey, y'all, get him. Get him, dude, giving his all trying to get Trey to the ground, nigga, and couldn't make it happen for shit show. That shit crazy, bitch. So, uh, nah, another thing that happened that was crazy, bro. Ludacris. Ooh. So, Ludacris out in Atlanta, dog. Ooh. Goes up to the throw them bowls. Ludacris go to the ATM machine. What are the odds of this? At the ATM machine, I'm guessing he had to park in the parking lot. Right. Leave his car running. Motherfucker hop in his car, take his car, take his beans. Drive off. I mean, shit, you got to look at it, man. You left your shit on. Facts. You, look, man, he can't be <laughs> mad at nobody, bro. I don't he, think he, he is mad. You it's made just... a common <laughs> look. Nah, I ain't going to say common. Yeah. You made a foolish error. Yeah. If you thought a nigga won't hop in your shit. Yeah, I think... I think he I think that he is uh he is that though, bro. Like he he wasn't mad. It's just one of the things they said he like flagged the laws down like man, somebody stole my car. <laughs> they end up finding the the belongings somewhere. They took his belongings out the car, then they found the car somewhere else later on and it was returned to him that same night. Right. But how many times have you got out the car, went in the store and left your car running? I don't never do that. I never did that, bro. I, I never, I never did that. And I, I'm the nigga, when I used to see people do that when I was in motherfucking middle school, nigga. Right. When I was in middle school, I ain't believe in that shit. Like, see, I, and I wasn't driving yet, but I would see niggas like at McDonald's or the corner store going there. I was like, man, I can steal this nigga car right now. Hey, but on some <laughs> shit, on some shit. <laughs> see, I grew up, you know what I'm saying, you know, up in the, you know, yeah. when you was young. Yeah. So, boom. Like. Niggas used to steal cars. Dude. Exactly. That's what I like, was saying. Like that was a thing. Facts. That was really a thing. So Facts. Like, like that shit, like even today, is, is, I, don't, I would never, ever do no Nigga shit. will never leave his car running, bro. That just Nigga, ain't me. Nigga, pop your top, man. You quick, know what I'm saying? Quick like a motherfucker. What the fuck I'm going to leave my car running for? I know this hoe gone, nigga. I would fucking never do that shit. So that was one thing, bro, like with me. With that shit, I remember. I remember one time I went to McDonald's. It was a nigga I went to. Uh, we went to high school with, and I ain't had no cars like a freshman. Mm -hmm. This nigga had beat screens in his car, everything. <laughs> had his shit parked in the parking lot, beating, banging. And I'm talking about nigga. Do you love? Do you want your car? Cause a nigga can just walk up and drive off in your shit. That shit be happening, bro. And and that shit yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, motherfucker will will tap in and need your ass. And, sick, and, bro. and, and I'm gonna tell you some real shit too, bro. <laughs> That Atlanta shit, they say that nigga, it was 99 motherfucking stolen cars <laughs> in this year alone, nigga. This year alone in January. You know they been talking about the other dudes. I know he seen that shit. Yeah, 99 stolen cars already this year. And 75 of the cars that got stolen was because they left the car running. Oh, man. I just ain't never That's been that nigga, cause like you say, nigga, we knew niggas when we was in middle school yeah, yeah. who was taking shit, taking, taking cars. Taking niggas down. Like, like, taking, like, nigga, you left that car, they hopping in your shit, nigga, at the mm -hmm. gas station, wherever, nigga. Right niggas ain't even need your keys. Only place that I was, yeah, niggas was doing yeah, the tinking yeah. shit. You know that tinking shit with the screwdriver shit. Pop a motherfucking steering car yeah. in a minute, nigga, get on, you know get, what I'm get, saying? Get it wrong, especially like them Dodge and Trippets and shit. Any Dodge. Do any Dodge. Any Dodge. Everybody knew that them niggas could still a Dodge. At the drop of a dime. That's so uh <laughs> with that going on too, bro, that that that's just one of them things, bro. Like it's gonna always be some car thieving going on, nigga. That's just part of the game. Down. You know, but they say Ludacris got his shit back, so he's straight, so he good anyways. You know, he a rich nigga, he would have been able to replace it, but it's just like I'm not that nigga, bro. Only time I left my car running, I leave my car running is in the fucking front driveway. Front driveway. That, that's the it. Crib. At the crib. Right. Front driveway. I leave that hoe running. Like if I'm finna like warm my shit. But up motherfucker, so. motherfucker, motherfucker going like a motherfucker really have to have some balls though. Bro. Oh yeah, facts. To go in your driveway and facts. take your shit like that. In broad daylight. In broad daylight. In broad daylight. Nine times it, it, it it'll be like some little idiot kid. Yeah. But 
as far as the, you know what I'm saying? You got to have and niggas, niggas who steal cars, really, for real, they not even thinking like, I'm finna run up in a nigga drive yeah, nah. and take, because that shit is just some un, unworked it ass shit. I mean, why, why go to a nigga drive unless it's, it's a certain nigga car you plotting? Right. But why go in the nigga driveway when you can go to the corner store and catch a nigga slipping way easier? Facts. Or if you if you really, really with the shit, you go <laughs> hit up you a train track or two yeah. and go snatch some of them new motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, man. Before they even register them motherfuckers. Man, I seen some shit. I know they be doing that shit in Detroit, bro, where them niggas be stealing all the Hellcats and Demons from the dealership. And then they be, they say them niggas be yanked. They be taking all them hot, them Hellcats, them Demons, and them track hawks out niggas' yards and shit. I'm saying, boy, yeah. boys is yeah. on the 66. I, seen, I remember I seen that shit that time when they went to, um, it was somewhere like Bay. It was. It wasn't in Houston. It was like somewhere surrounded where they went to a car lot and they took all the uh, the rims and tires off cars at that hoe, off of brand new cars. And I was like, "Ooh, them niggas hit a mean ass That's lick. lick that was a good ass lick they hit, bro. Like for real, they clinked out like a whole side of the parking lot. That shit was crazy in the motherfucker, dog. That shit crazy. But hey, man, watch out. Leaving y'all cars running and running in them stoles or the ATMs. Just don't do it. Yeah, don't be thinking you're flying. You're too cool and shit. Like, I'm going to leave my shit out, running. Babe. Cut that motherfucker off. Quit being lazy. Quit being too cool. Cut your shit off, man.